Hello guys, uh, let's do Nike here, and I am going to be talking about how to know if your Nike shoes are fake or real. There are many ways to tell, but one way is to look at the stitching, and if the stitching is a loosely stitched, then they are most likely fake. Also, take out the insole. This bet, if you don't know what the insole is, it is this thing. If it is very thin and feels plasticky, it is most likely fake. Another way is if it does not have the Nike swoosh on it, like mine does right here, then it is most likely fake. Another way to ensure that you're not buying a fake pair of Nikes is to try avoiding avoid buying them online. If you can buy them in store at any time, I would rather buy them in store than buy them online. Another way to tell is uh, what you want to do is if you know for a fact a certain shoe is going to have Nike ID, like mine does, these are the Nike Free 5.0. If you know for a fact they do have Nike ID, like in them, then if you find a pair of the same exact shoes that don't have Nike ID in them, then they are most likely fake. I would not buy those shoes because, from my knowledge, every Nike 5.0, Nike Free 5.0, does have Nike ID in them. If you're looking at a pair of God, why can't I get this out? If you are looking at a pair of okay, whatever. No. If you're okay, the, I the Nike ID. That's what the Nike ID is right here. It's underneath that thing. But and also, every Nike pair of shoes, t the stitching tends to end right here where you can see that piece. They always tend to. Stop stitching there. See, my shoes might even be fake because the stitching is kind of weird on the inside. But then again, it's on the inside of the shoe. How do you really stitch that? But also, look at the box. The box is a good way, not the like actual box, but like look at the information on the box where it tells you uh, the size and stuff. Hold on, I'll get that real quick. Okay. What you want to do is you want to find this. This is a good way to tell if your Nikes are fake or real. Right here, where the number is, you got to make sure that matches what the number of your shoe says. And where you can find that is right here. On this, it will usually say that right under where it says the sizes and it'll say it right above where it says made in wherever the heck it was made it doesn't really matter but every nike thing right here will say every like new model not the old models will say nikebetterworld.com and it'll have all the sizes us uk europe centimeters whatever and i don't know if that is Let's see here. Um, and then it'll say made in blah blah blah. Wait, does this match the same thing? Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna read off my two numbers. The one in the box says 580591. Then there's a, like a little space and it says 002. And on the box, on my shoe, it says 580591002. That is a for sure way to tell if your Nikes are fake or real. Um, but stitching is another way, like stitching right here. If it's not perfect or almost perfect, then they're most likely fake. I mean, try it on. If the insole feels plasticky, then it's most likely a fake. Um... If you put on a fake pair of Nikes and you walk in them, it's not going to be... Like, if you previously owned a pair of Nikes, and you know how Nikes feel if you've ever had a pair of Nikes before. They feel pretty comfortable. They're really comfortable, and blah, 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 you know, okay. 
but if you try in a pair of fake Nikes and you've had a pair of real Nikes before, you'll know instantly that there's something wrong with this shoe because uh, if you get a pa fake pair of Nikes, then they're not going to be comfortable. They're probably going to feel pretty trashy. And usually with Nike Freeze, if you are interested in buying a pair of Nike Freeze, Nike, the, if they're real Nike Freeze, they will bend like this. If they're fake, they will probably only bend that much, if even that. Fake, don't, like, I'm, this isn't for sure, because sometimes if you buy them from, like, a place that is good at making fake Nike shoes, then, okay, but, okay, so, I know I said if you want to ensure not getting fake Nikes to go to the store, that's not always true, because if you, if you, Want us? It's more money if you go to Nike.com and order a pair of Ni like NikeID.com and you order a pair of custom shoes. It's going to be expensive, and I know. But if you go to NikeID.com and buy a pair of shoes online, you know they're not going to be fake because you're buying them from Nike. They're not going to sell you a fake pair of Nikes because they make them at like the Nike warehouse, whatever, they make them there, then ship them to the Nike headquarters, or I guess whatever, I think they make them in a factory, ship them to a warehouse, and then from the warehouse to your house, but if you buy them from NikeID.com, they're not going to be fake, I know that for a fact, Nike wouldn't do that, they wouldn't sell you a fake pair of shoes, but if you buy them from eBay, I would not buy a pair of Nikes from eBay. Who, like, I don't know who does that, but those are probably all most likely fake, unless you can like find them from like a person. Right? I mean, everyone sells a eBay person, but if you're gonna buy a pair of Nikes on eBay, try to get. Then buy like try and buy them from a person that lives in the same state as you. Like you can meet up and look at the Nikes before you actually pay for them because that's you can check out what they look like and stuff. Because if they don't look real, then don't buy them. That's a sure fit. Oh, awesome! You'll know you bought a fake pair of Nikes if after a, like a few weeks of wearing them. They will start to fall apart that fast because no, fake pair of Nikes are not made well at all. I'll tell you that. But most fake companies, I know this because I bought a fake pair of Nikes. Right here, this thing, they usually tend to rip it off of other Nike boxes and just put it on here and tape it on. And if you Notice that it's not really straight. Mine's not. Mine's like almost perfectly straight. I mean, it's pretty. Yeah, it's, mine's perfectly straight. They probably used a ruler or something, but you see how it's almost perfectly straight. Most fake companies will rip off old, like price tags like that, off of other old Nike boxes and slap them on to like Nike boxes they made. And another way to tell if it's fake is check out your box if your box isn't hard cardboard and it's flimsy it's probably fake i'll tell you that so this has been a video on how to tell if you bought fake nikes or not have a good night please like comment rate and subscribe and watch my other videos please